Hey guys, this is Robin aka Captain Glade and welcome back to the Omega Ruby Shiny Badge Quest. We're close to the end of this playthrough finally and Sun and Moon are just around the corner for you guys in America or anywhere but Europe and since I'm in Europe I have to wait a little longer till I get Sun and Moon but still I want to finish this playthrough before Sun and Moon come out so um, yeah. Let's get to these Elite Four battles and um, last time I asked who of my team we um, should definitely bring to this challenge and um, surprisingly most of you guys said uh, not to bring um, our starter Sceptile so I'm uh, taking that one out and it was already kind of obvious for me not to bring um, Gen Z or Mightyena since the Moopool um, is not really useful to us so um, we're leaving her in the box too and um, instead we are going to take our Marshiello and our Latias so our team looks like this we have well you can see it like this so I'm gonna switch to the box mode again and um, we have Agron Iron Maiden, we have Mulan, the shiny Frost last, we have Fox, the shiny ho -Oh. we have Flygon, aka Spirit, Marsh Yellow, the shiny Azumarill, and Gold Strike, the shiny Latias. So uh, these are the six we are going to bring to the Elite Four. So um, let's get right into that. Um, the first one is Dark, if I'm not mistaken, so uh, let's bring something clever for that in the first slot I think Marsh Yellow is a good one to start off with she's not as high as the rest but um, let's just see how she does we, I, I brought a lot of items just to um, heal stuff up so um, let's just do this I just love what they did with the scenery be between those Elite Four matches. Kind of a, a prep area. And the doors are open for us, so uh, let's get into that first challenge. I think it was Sid, or whatever his name was. Oh, Sydney, actually. Get off that lousy chair of yours and let's get this thing going. Elite four memo, Sydney. Number one out of the four. And we have to defeat before the champion. Now let's see how much we are on the level here. It's a lot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot, but let's just see if we can... Uh... Oh, we're actually getting swaggered. Please, pull through. That would be so amazing. No, I just fired back. And we avoid that. Really, a me saving us once more. And because of that swagger, we take that Mighty Anna out with ease. And we level up as well, which is really great shift 3 is gonna come in maybe I should have switched I'm gonna switch now probably gonna leave Stormer or something like that so we're gonna go to Fox I'm not gonna take that risk not already So 
That is such a beautiful shiny. It just went for the fake out, okay. It's fine. Let's get that sacred fire going. Torpedo. Now Marcello can go back. Unfortunately, we lost that attack boost, but I think it was worth it. It was worth saving Marcello there. Poison Fang. I did not expect that. Of course, we get poisoned. I think it's like 30% chance of getting poisoned anyway. But we take out that torpedo. At least. Just hope we don't die because of that poison. Or do we not even get the poison now? Oh, we do. Okay. Yeah, we got a switch anyway because it's another grass type. Let's go to Mulan. Let's go to Mulan. I know it's a dark type versus the ghost type, but should be able to do this. I don't even think we, we got Ice Beam yet for it. No, we still have Frost Breath, but should be fine. Yeah, guaranteed when it... No, what was it? Yeah, guaranteed crit, so... Last one is Absol. Let's show off all these beautiful shinies once more. I love every single one I've hunted in this shiny batch class, really. They are so beautiful. And in Sun and Moon, this baby is gonna be so much better. Oh my god, I'm so excited for that. I love Flygon since Gen 3, but now it's finally getting something good. It deserves to go in a higher tier anyway, so... Uh, Again, beautiful scenery, beautiful. All right, so what? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to uh, the ghost elite four and just do ghost first ghost. See you. who's better at it. This is just dancing about. Oh my god. See, I never really paid attention to it, but this time I actually saw it. Holy crap. The little girl in the chair. It's so freaking creepy, and it's... It's right there. It's, it's right behind my character. Right now. Okay, now I'm scared. Why do they do this? That gave me the creeps. Okay, Mulan. Now dust cloths. 
I mean, it's not the best ghost, so should be able to do this, right? Even a shadow punch. I'm just gonna go for Kushi's worry. Okay. That can be really annoying. He's gonna use a full restore. Obviously. And we're just gonna hit ourselves in the head. Like we did in the victory road. I was gonna say, I'm not gonna say I believe in you because I don't. <laughs> but, <laughs> seriously, just do it! And he's gonna put a curse on us. Which means I gotta switch. Basically. Because that will cut like a quarter of my health every turn. Which is not really something I wanna wait for. Um, let's go to Spirit. Too bad I cannot use Latias all too much here. Because all the Elite Four members have super effect against Latias. I'm just gonna go full power EQ here. I don't even know what item I put on Flygon. I kind of forgot. Hmm. Dusk, Dusk Noir. Oh right, I forgot that after the National Dex, people got those other mods as well. It was the same thing in the Victory Road. Totally forgot. Let's go to Iron Maiden. Let's crush that thing. Wow, that did that did nothing. Jeez. Hex. Okay, I'm just gonna mega evolve an iron head. See if we get some more flinches in. I'm just missing some power here. I you hope know, Mega Agron can bring us that power. Just not enough. She's gonna use another forward sword, yeah. But I think she only uses two, right? So, uh. That should be it. I'm just gonna keep spamming that. Hoping for some hacks. Yeah! Nicely done. Well done, girl. Okay, now I want it. Just for the for the heck of it, just go to uh, Ladias. See what she can do against the net. Even though it's level fifty-one, should be able to do something. Um, let's throw Dragon Breath. If we can paralyze it. And we just paralyze it straight away. Comes a faint attack. That wasn't. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we took care, care of that. I don't want to do another one. <laughs> I really don't want to do another one.
Okay, Flygon. You just take care of that. Full EQ. Okay, let's see if we need to heal up a little bit. I think we do. So um, let's get those full restores. There they are. Mm, I think I'll just put Iron Maiden in front. It's a little OP against ice, but yeah. Let's go to Elsa. <laughs> Into icy castle. We we'll just slide in now. Name's Glacia, I think, right? Yeah, Glacia. I think she just starts putting on that um, that hail, which is really annoying because she also has a frost laugh, the snow cloak. Which just becomes a ninja in hell. Good thing we have one too. Um, I'm gonna use a rock slide here. Light screen. Why would you use light screen? By all means, go for it, but I don't see the use. And there's the hail. Now let's see. There's the roll ring. Of course, that one is not gonna be <laughs> like a ninja, it's just gonna die. I hope. Oh, fuck. I forgot to mega evolve there. That is my bad. That is. That's just unfortunate there. Um. Okay, now I have to uh, do something else. I'll just get more yellow in. Let me think. I think I want to heal up my uh, my aggro on though. That's one of the reasons I wanted to bring Sceptile. Just to get rid of these water types. Sheer Cola, are you kidding me? Well, that would be a really nasty way to get rid of me. Oh my god. Get the hell out. That is just unfair. That is just really unfair. Just gonna one hit KO me. Okay. Probably gonna hail again. 
I'm, I'm not gonna wait for that. I just wanna kill that thing. That is nasty. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can do it again. Come on. By all means, go for it. Thank you. Jesus, sheer cold, really? These things have sheer cold. That is so lame. I hate it. I hate when people do that. Um, I'll just go back to Iron Maiden. And Mega Evil. <laughs> Okay, there's the Frost Lass. The Frost Lass, she is going to go for that hail. Because she really needs that. There we go. But no hags there. We're just gonna get rid of that. Oh, she got me another one. God help us. Shadow Ball. Please don't be enough. Yes! Agron, you're a beast. Told you so many times, but really, wow. She saved my hide so many times. Okay, I'm gonna heal her up here. Because I really need her. Oh, please don't get frozen. Wait, it's not dead yet? Are you kidding me? Punch again. Thank you. Well done. Okay, one more to go. Okay, I think we got some healing to do here. Um, we have to revive Frostlass. And then heal her up. Because we are gonna need her in the next one. Might also heal up Marciello. Because she is also a fan favorite, I guess. I put her first. Because we are going face face against dragons and she is my only fairy in my team actually let's go to drake Josh. Sorry, I just did that.
Bum, badum. Final Elite Four number. Oh, that was a cool animation. Altaria. The only thing she would be able to do is like an Iron Tail or something, but don't think she has it. I'm just gonna go with the play rough. Cotton Gardo. Cotton Gardo. It's gonna be a little annoying. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to break through here. But I wanna see what attack she has. Royal Ace. Does not quite do enough. And we get a crit. That's all we needed. It doesn't matter if we are on the level or not. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna wing it. Flamethrower on an Azumarill? Are, are you nuts? Well, that's a waste of a Flygon, dude. That is just... You don't even deserve to be an Elite Four. What the heck? I mean, most times, Elite Fours play pretty good. They make good plays, but that was just bad. That was just plain bad. Salamence is gonna come in. I'm gonna go with Frostlass now. I don't know, does he have two of those? Or does he have a shell gone? In the originals he had a shell gone, though. Or maybe he has a king right now. I don't know. Another crit. Yeah, of course, it was guaranteed crit. I keep forgetting that. That's what makes... Frost, frost breath actually a good move. And our flygon. Okay, that's double flygon. I really don't get why you would go for a flamethrower against an Azumarill. That's just stupid. Okay, King versus the last one. Let's see if uh, Draining Kiss is gonna be a tough. Maybe two. Okay, that does absolutely nothing. I think I gotta switch. Oh, it flinched? How can it flinch? Did I put an item on you? Oh my god, I put the King's Rock on Frostlass, I forgot. That is pretty broken there. <laughs> it's gonna yawn. Are you not entertained? Let's go, Gold Strike. I'm making this episode longer and longer, my friend. Really? Really? There we go. Another crit from our beloved friend, Gold Strike. And one goes to level 52. And with that, we defeated all Elite Four members. But back to the topic of Sun and Moon. Um, if you uh, would like to uh, answer the question of the day, I would really appreciate it. What starter are you going to pick in Sun and Moon? Since the games are just about 
uh, around the corner and uh, I just have to wait uh, another week for them but uh, yeah I'm so excited for it I'm all for Team Litton but uh, that shouldn't influence you guys I'm gonna leave this episode here and um, yeah next episode we're definitely gonna challenge the champion and uh, get some awesome credits going because those are really awesome and I don't want you guys to miss that so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys then. Bye bye.